Blockchain holds the potential to revolutionize countless industries, including video games. We've seen a handful of blockchain-based games come and go over the years. Many of them have been hyper-niche to the crypto industry, but in just the past few weeks, we've seen the release of a major crypto game that's getting massive exposure outside the crypto space. And in this video, I'm going to tell you exactly what it is and why this is a massive inflection point for the entire industry and how this could be just the beginning of something massive for the entire crypto gaming industry and also the entire blockchain industry as a whole to bring in tens of millions of people into crypto who may have never used it otherwise. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know in this video today as a blockchain developer myself who works with this technology on a daily basis. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below and subscribe. And if you want to take advantage of all the insane adoption and opportunity that's happening in the crypto space right now, especially as we heat up for the next wave of the crypto bull market, then I can show you how to increase your income by becoming a blockchain developer over at dappydiversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, so let's get into this. We'll talk about this massive crypto game that just dropped and why it's such a big deal. So what is it? Well, it's called Off the Grid. It's a free-to-play battle royale game with extraction shooter elements where you can loot rewards. And you can own these assets on the blockchain. This game is blending mainstream gaming with blockchain technology in a way that we've never seen before. And currently, it's making massive waves outside the crypto space. So why is that? Why is it such a big deal? Well, first of all, we've seen different crypto games kind of come and go in the past. Some have had viral success, albeit short-lived, like Axie Infinity in the 2021 bull run. This was a famous play-to-earn crypto game that skyrocketed briefly, but had two fundamental challenges. It couldn't thrive outside of a bull market, and it mainly attracted people who were already into crypto. However, with this latest release of Off the Grid, it's huge because number one, it doesn't need a bull market to thrive. And number two, you don't even have to be a crypto user to enjoy playing it. In fact, many new players of the game are playing the game without even realizing there's a blockchain integrated into this thing in the first place. And I don't think I have to overstate how big of a deal that is. So the gameplay itself is good and it's making a massive buzz online. I'm seeing major non-crypto gaming channels already covering the release of this game, streaming it for hours and hours. In fact, it was the sixth most viewed game on Twitch just a few days ago. It's already attracted a huge number of users since its initial release, so let's see why. So first, let's start off with the gameplay, because even if you're not into crypto, the off-the-grid experience is worth noting. You know, it's a battle royale-style game set in a cyberpunk world developed by Gunzilla Games, all right? So imagine something like Fortnite or Apex Legends-style shooter, but with a deeper narrative and some pretty wild customizations, like swapping out your limbs in addition to your weapons mid-battle. So basically, you drop into Teardrop Island with up to 150 players in a mix of PvP versus PvE scenarios. So it's not just about being the last one standing, there's actually an evolving story that changes depending on your choices throughout the match. So this blend of story and battle royale is a new thing and it's drawing a lot of attention. Okay, so that's a bit about the gameplay, but let's talk about where the blockchain comes into this. So again, one of the amazing things about this game is that many people are starting to play it without even really knowing that there's a blockchain behind the scenes or set of different ways you can play the game without really having to interact with the blockchain. You know, in the past, many blockchain based games were very cumbersome. Uh, there was a massive deterrent for bringing other people onto the game who hadn't used crypto before. So how does this work differently then? Well, the main blockchain mechanisms behind this game are the in-game items, which are NFTs, and then the in-game currency. So let's look at each of those. So first, let's start off with the in-game items. So, you know, in Off the Grid, many in-game items like skins, weapons, and even cybernetic limbs are represented as non-fungible tokens or NFTs on the blockchain. So basically, if you own them in the game, you know, you can own them on chain just like you'd see right here. I just pulled up a random one on the test net. So why is this different from other games? Well, in the past, you know, your in-game assets live inside the game. And sure, there are secondary marketplaces where you could maybe trade these. It might be a violation of the terms of service based upon the game. But here, because they're owned on the blockchain, you could do things like trade them on blockchain-based marketplaces. Let's say there's a rare skin in the game, a rare weapon, whatever, and you own it then there's potentially a secondary market for that. So that's the first thing, the in-game items with NFTs. Now, on the other side of the things, there is an in-game token, all right, called the gun token. 
So this is used to trade NFTs like weapons and skin purchased in game and potentially engage in other blockchain powered features in the game ecosystem. It's basically designed to create an in-game player driven economy that blurs the lines between in-game achievements and real world assets. And again, because this is actually a token on the chain, this is something that you can have outside of the game, potentially even use in a secondary marketplace on the blockchain outside of the game itself. So which blockchain is it using? Well, it's built on the Avalanche blockchain, specifically the GUNS subnet, a custom layer one chain uh, specific for this game. Okay, so right now, you know, full disclosure, the video game is in an early release, so it's running on the test network. You can go take a look at the uh, uh, test net for the GUNS test net. That's the one that's purpose built for this chain. You can see the number of transactions that are increasing by the day. And on Honestly, if you just go look at Angelay's blocks and click through the transactions, you can pretty much see that everything is about activity related to the game. You can see here's an NFT that was created. Okay, this is a random one that I just pulled up. This is obviously some type of in-game item that someone earned by playing the game. Okay, so the final thing to note about the blockchain inside of the game is it's really changing the dynamics of gaming and the assets inside of it. So basically having a player-owned economy where players control the in-game assets and can trade them freely on marketplaces. Again, this is different uh, from what, how you might see this in the past or other games because you can do peer-to-peer -peer trading. You can earn inside the game and those tokens that you earn can potentially be worth something even outside the game. It's a huge shift in how these games have worked in the past. Yeah, these mechanisms of blockchain combined with mainstream gaming basically give players more control and ownership over their assets while providing them with financial incentives in the form of NFTs and in-game tokens. All right, so that's the current state of the game, but what's on the roadmap for the future? Because right now, this is in a initial release phase. It's not the final release. It's running on the testnet. But in the testnet phase, you know, it's got over 60,000 wallets already interacting, you know, with the project at the time of recording this video. So the mainnet launch is expected to be soon. When that happens, people will be able to fully trade NFTs, earn uh, tokens and engage in the blockchain based ecosystem. So this is just the beginning, uh, but the roadmap does include expanding gameplay features and integrating more of the blockchain economy into the core experience. All right. So with that being said, what are the implications from this game for the overall crypto gaming industry and also just the entire Web3 blockchain crypto industry as a whole? Well, currently, the entire crypto space is looking for signs of life for adoption of this core technology. Because we see we have all this game-changing technology, we're trying to build things with it, and we're really trying to get that traction. And while everyone and their brother is focused on finding the next 100x, 1000x meme coin, many of us, like myself, who are hyper-focused on technology, are looking for that signal of the next wave of adoption. And right now, we're staring at it in the face with this game off the grid. So, you know, this is the first crypto game that I feel can truly work for the masses. And if it's proved successful, that it can pave the way for many other crypto games to follow and usher in a renaissance of crypto gaming that we really just haven't seen to date. And this could usher in a brand new thriving economy that can bring in tens of millions of new people into the crypto space that might never have gone down this rabbit hole otherwise. Because think about it, the total addressable market for gamers is absolutely huge. And it's going to bring more and more gamers every year as new generations rise into this. And with off the grid, you know, we're seeing a shift. This game is appealing to, you know, normies, people who aren't necessarily into crypto, but love gaming. And if off the grid succeeds, it could be the first domino and wider adoption showing that blockchain technology can enhance, not detract from mainstream gaming experiences. Now, that being said, I have seen criticisms of this floating around online, mostly from other gaming channels who have tried off the grid and are, you know, just very vocally critical of the game itself. And so I want to address some of those criticisms right now in this video. So, you know, number one is kind of just an anti-crypto sentiment. There's a lot of vocal uh, gamers who basically feel that, you know, adding blockchain and NFTs is just a way to squeeze more money out of a player, uh, that it can ruin the game experience with financial incentives overtaking the gameplay. So uh, maybe I'll break that down a little bit. So number one, uh, we've already seen a massive move towards video games to try to extract more value out of their players basically make more money. I mean, they're businesses, right? That's why you have lots of games that are now free to play, but have all these ways to get battle passes or some other in-game item that you want to buy, get you addicted to the video game, you spend more and more money, and then they make more, you keep playing, et cetera, et cetera, right? So, so that doesn't change with this game. Now, on the other side of these now becoming potentially speculative assets, they're thinking that that can sort of ruin the game for other serious gamers. Uh, yeah, it might ruin the game for people who have a pure incentive to want to play the game without some of these types of features. But 
We already see games sort of make decisions on how they want to treat their customer bases. Does it want to be a pay to earn game? Do you want to remove any paid advantage? So what I think is going to happen is it's most likely going to find its core user base that's going to exclude other people, but then work really well for a certain type of people who want a fun game to play, but can also do things like earning inside the game. Video games are already very tribal, and I expect this to sort of find its product market fit and its tribe and its community that can actually do quite well, even if it excludes some, you know, serious gamers who want nothing to do with it just because it's got crypto involved. So the other big criticism that I'm seeing that's just completely invalid that I think is really easy to debunk is that it's not environmentally friendly, okay? And unfortunately, Unfortunately, this kind of comes downstream from the political rhetoric that crypto is not environmentally friendly. What most people are talking about is Bitcoin mining taking up a lot of energy. Okay, so you can easily sidestep this and say that, look, this is not using Bitcoin. It's not using proof of work as the consensus mechanism for the blockchain. It's using something that actually has proof of stake. Okay, which is way cheaper to run in terms of energy costs. So this argument pretty much doesn't hold any weight anymore. All right, so that's an overview of Off The Grid, the major blockchain-based gaming sensation that's just hit the scene over the past few weeks. So let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Have you tried this game? Do you like it? Do you think this is a big deal for all of blockchain gaming and also the crypto blockchain Web3 industry as a whole? I want to hear from you. And whenever you finish leaving your comment, make sure you smash that like button down below and subscribe. And as always, if you want to take advantage of all the insane opportunity that's happening in the blockchain space right now, the absolute best way to do that is to increase your income by becoming a blockchain developer. And I can show you how to do that step by step from start to finish over at adaptiveversity.com forward slash bootcamp. Trust me, you don't have to be an expert to get started today. I thought people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dapper Diversity.